everyone! Thanks for stopping by this week, and I'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway at the end of the video. But first is this week's project, and a really cute trend lately is fabric banners or bunting. I've seen them all over Etsy and on various craft blogs, and so I wanted to make my own. So I uh, bought my first pair of pinking shears this week, and I put them to work. So um, this is a fantastic way to use up your fabric scraps um, that you have left over after a project. I've been making several wrap skirts, and so I have tons of vintage fabric left over, and um, it's all really pretty, so I wanted to make some banners or bunting or whatever you want to call them. So um, here's how you do it. To make bunting, simply cut out triangles of fabric. I'm making mine double-sided, and I'm using a pattern I made. Sew so a top stitch all the way around the edge. Pin to seam binding starting in the middle and work your way to the ends. And my bunting is three feet long, so I'm putting eight flags on it. Sew from one edge to the other, making sure to catch each flag and the seam binding. Watch out because making these um, banners can be really addicting. I've made um, six of them now and I'm having a lot of fun at it. So um, once you start making them, you might just keep making them for a long time. Another way to use your leftover fabric is using it for quilt pieces. Now I'm going to make a small nine patch quilt using my leftover fabric. And if you do this with fabric leftover after projects, it's a great way to have like a little memory quilt. So I'm keeping mine in a tin. And um, here's what I've got so far. I've just cut out three and a half inch squares out of um, a few of my fabrics. And I haven't gotten around to actually sewing any together yet, but um, when I do, I will show some of them. But I'm waiting until I get more fabrics first before I start. Another great way to use up fabric scraps is by turning it into fabric confetti. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but I pinked a ton of like odd shaped scraps and I made fabric confetti. And if you're wondering what you use this for, is um, I've been making a lot of jewelry lately and so I found a great way to package the jewelry so that it is safe for mailing. And what I've done is, here's a pair of earrings I made and I'm actually going to be sending these to the giveaway winner. Um, this wasn't announced in the prize but I thought they were really cute so I wanted to send them. And so I've placed them, I've hooked them onto a piece of cardboard, placed them in a bag. I got pillow boxes at Dollar Tree. They were 20 for one dollar in the um, wedding section. So I've closed one end, Place the earrings inside and simply use the confetti to go on either side of the earrings and it gives them a little bit of cushion. This and all the other prizes will be going to the giveaway winner which I will announce right after the break.
So last night I wrote down all of the names of everyone who entered my giveaway and drew a winner. Sorry I don't have any footage. I was in my pajamas and I don't like filming in my pajamas. But um, the name I drew is this one. I'm sorry I still can't say it right. Luckily I know her actual name is Amber. So Amber please send me your address and I will get your prizes sent to you as soon as possible. So thanks to everyone who entered my contest and I'll have another video next week and subscribe if you aren't already so you'll get a notification when it goes up and I will see you then. Bye!